Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And today... Uh, I am filming this, I'm gonna be honest. I'm filming this the night before. Uh, I'm filming the two videos for which you'll be seeing this will be Friday. Uh, I got a bunch of things to do Friday, but I'm gonna make sure you get some content out. So I'm gonna give you two videos at a time, just so you know. So yeah, because it is night, and I might try not to be allowed. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but this video is from a channel I just found recently called Creepy Caught and it's 30 Scary Moments Caught on Dashcam Volume 1. And we go get right into this. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment what you think down below. Let's go. 1050, 1050. Do not oh, put your head down. Put your head down. Most mysterious movies are caught on dash camps for any reason. It's late at night, and YouTuber Molly the Lag is the only automobile on the road when he notices something odd. To find it, follow the road's curvature and look into the distance. Okay. What's that? What? What? I, I saw somebody on a bicycle or something like that. Molly the Lag watches a bright light cross the road ahead and then quietly disappears. It's I about to say, there was something that crossed here that then disappeared. I just didn't know. I was like, maybe it could have been just a, I don't know, something. I thought it could be explained, but I actually don't know what would cause that light. It's also odd how the street lights begin to flicker when this happens. He had no notion what the moving light represented. There was nowhere for vehicles to travel but straight, therefore it couldn't have been a car. Molly the Lag has even used Google Maps to confirm this, so what do you think it was? I'm completely stumped. Most police officers work hard to keep us safe, but as these dash ca- Oh, this is a fake one. I know this one. This is a fake cop. Which makes me think so I've always wanted to know what happened to this individual. The one who got in the back of his car without knowing it was fake and got end up being put in the back of his car and he drove away. I've always wanted to know what happened to this guy. Cam films reveal there are some situations that even the most prepared law enforcement cannot manage. This individual was busy impersonating a police officer and pulled over several innocent citizens in December two in defense of this, the only thing I can say is this guy doesn't actually look like a police officer at all. So I wouldn't have just gone with it, because in the fact he doesn't look like he's wearing, he does, he's not wearing any type of uniform or anything. So mm, I probably still would have fought it. And if it actually was a police officer, I'd rather it be a real, I'd rather have an actual one arrest me than just this guy. It looks like he just came out of a fucking, this, Parents' basement as a teenager, like... 2017, just a week before Christmas. He had fake lights and a dash cam on his car to record himself on this big ego trip. The person on the hood has no idea they are being stopped, searched, and handcuffed by a man who is not a member of police enforcement. My curious question is, did he actually break a law? Like, did he actually break a law that made him unable to... Um, that made it so the police could stop him? Because he's going along with this pretty quick, pretty casually, which is weird. But, like, that's what I'm curious. Like, did he ever... Did he actually break a law? Enforcement. Copy, I'll, I'll look at it, thanks. 1629. Oh my god, I bet the guy had a freaking thingy that makes you be able to listen to a police radio so it sounds like he even was in contact with me that's clever it's fucking scary to say the fact who like again i want to know what happened to this guy but that is clever this poor innocent person is completely at the mercy of a stranger once his hands are behind his back what transpired next is unknown but the man seems to be led into the back of the impersonator's vehicle with his hands bound according to tucson police 
I can only imagine what horrible things happened from there, and I- That's what scares me, is I want to know what happened next. I want to know what was- what ended up being happening. I hope he survived. In this video, a man claims to spot a person on the side of the road, while driving home late at night. Still, it's late at night and on a dark street with no lights, so the driver begins shooting. While slowly approaching my car in reverse, someone was walking in the distance. My car in reverse. There was somebody walking in that distance. It looks really, really sketchy. It's like right under that sign over there. Let me try to zoom it in for you guys. See if you guys can see anything. No, I'm gonna have to put the lights over there for the car. I'm trying to get you guys a picture of this. But this thing is scary as I have never seen no one look like this or be like this. See if you guys can see it with the light down there. Oh no, still too far. Right, I'm getting on the road here by it and I don't see nothing still. I'm gonna zoom it out. Where did they go? I don't know where they went. What the f He's standing like under the sign over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. He's legit like standing under that sign right there. Just like right there on the side of the road. That should be shadier. It's like right there under that sign. He enlarges it for you to see, if you can see anything. He then moves the car's lights over there. He was trying to take a picture of it, but it was terrifying because he had never seen somebody appear or act like this before. So you guys can see it with the light down there. He was getting on the road here by it and didn't see anything. See that right there? Do you see that? Who the But they got like some weird mask or something on. What the is that? What the Oh, what the Oh, what the Still, let's enlarge it. What happened to him? I'm not sure if you can see that he's authentic, like standing under that sign right there on the side of the road. That's when the driver claims to know the person, and after turning on his high beams, a man by the side of the road wearing a black shirt and dark jeans is shown. I don't think he ever claims to know the person. I think he claims he just saw the person. It's a very bizarre, bizarre thing from an individual. He also appears to be wearing some sort of mask. The guy's body language is really strange. Even so, as the driver comes close enough, the man lunges at the car, seizing the handle to open the door. Do you see what I mean? Do you see that? But they're wearing some strange mask or something? What exactly is it? It's unknown who this person is, or why he's alone on the side of a lonely road in the middle of the night, but one can only guess what he planned to do if he could unlock the car door. This Russian dash cam video begins, with a carload of friends staring at a figure dressed all in black, who appears out of place standing alone on a calm city street so late at night. Something about the visitor seems wrong, so they take a second look out of curiosity. They all yell in amazement, as they receive a much better look of the dark ghost this time. The cloaked person has entered the street and is now facing them, almost as if anticipating their return. <laughs> the camera quality isn't great, but I can't make out a single distinguishing feature of this person's face, which makes me wonder if they really have one. No, it's just shitty camera quality. There's just someone standing in the roadway. It's not that they don't can't make out. They just very shitty camera. They almost appear to be a shadow person. On the other hand, these friends appear to be making a huge deal out of nothing. Something about the figure's silent, ominous posture and the way it stands in place leads me to believe it is a spirit. The dash cam footage was captured on a pickup truck in Chile. The driver had just exited a motorway on ramp and continued on his journey. The vehicle in front of him began to use the brakes to slow down. This is a car thing I've seen many of times. I've seen this exact video many of times. Not like this exact full video, but this exact clip here. I've seen this many a times. They eventually come to a complete stop. When the vehicle's doors slid open, two men emerged, one armed with what appeared to be a gun. Originally, the drummer trains and reverses out of there, but he is followed by an automobile. This left him with no choice but to push forward. The vehicle was driven far enough for the driver to go onto the highway. During the push, the attacker's car's brake lights are shown turning on, but this has absolutely no effect on the vehicle. The video was sent to authorities, 
to assist them in identifying the men. Good on that guy. He was just like, yeah, this is a safe vibe. I'm just gonna power through, speeding through the car, just driving and go send them onto the highway. Good move. Footage was also released online, and a few days later, the actual owner of the vehicle used by the men recognized the automobile as their own. The car had been stolen a few days before this video was taken. This prompted authorities to assume the men were also attempting to steal the pickup. This video was captured by a truck driver hauling freight. The work had already taken him across hundreds of miles of road, and he indicated that he had been driving for seven hours in the area he was going through. At the time, it was supposedly infamous for its numerous weird encounters. Every so often, there would be a strange article in the local newspaper about ghostly apparitions crossing the road, or hitchhikers disappearing on the side of the road, as motorists pulled over to allow them a right of way. But there are even more creepy reports of a lady, who can be seen now and then standing in the middle of the road, but missing parts of her upper body, strange, isn't it well this man believes to have come eye to eye with her, that night people claimed to see a pair of legs, that could be belonging to a woman perhaps in a white skirt of some sort. That does literally look like just half a body. That's weird. But there's also a strange orb-like thing directly on top of that skirt. What exactly it is? The driver had no notion, but it's evident in his mind that it's not coming from our world. On May 22nd, 2021, an officer was conducting traffic enforcement in Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin, when he observed a vehicle driving dangerously. When the officer activated their lights to initiate a traffic stop, the motorist abruptly stopped and then fled at a high rate of speed. The officer chased the fleeing vehicle until it collided with an uninvolved motorist at an intersection. collided with someone and then this car just went all in flames. Oh my god. I got one car on fire. <laughs> the male driver of the fleeing vehicle was the sole member and incurred severe injuries in the incident. He was transferred to an area hospital via flight for life. <laughs> The sole occupant of the automobile struck in the junction was the driver, who was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. This dash cam starts off with a woman sitting in her car surrounded by a police car and a bunch of other random people trying to get her out. One of the people points out that her tires are flat. As they try to do that, the woman starts trying to drive off to escape, almost severely hitting one of the random people helping the cops. Trying to avoid getting run over, the people back away from What? So this what these people be like, hey ma'am, you gotta get out of your car, your tires are flat, like this is... Regulates and this one was like, no, nope, I'm going. I'm still going. I'm going to run you people over in the process. From the woman's vehicle, giving her a chance to escape. Now you just had a wreck. Look out! Look out! Break glass! Break glass! Break glass! Get out the car! Get out! Get out! Tires 
The police enter their cars and chase after the woman surrounding her this time. Trying to make the, I can't really turn on the volume because it's getting very loud. It's I'm like laid out. I'm trying to do this. What's wrong with this woman? She's not gonna make it far. Go. Somehow she manages to drive off to run again, which works. The police have to pursue this woman again, which is now successful. I got in park. You need some help over here. I got you. Sir. Ma'am. We got it. Man, this woman is just not interested in getting out of this vehicle. I don't know what it is she keeps trying to drive. She now, and then when the cops show up, she's like, sir, 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 you don't need to, like. I know I'm buckled, sir. I know I'm buckled, sir. Yeah. Sir. No. I didn't do anything. I didn't do it, sir. You just tried to kill ten people. No, I did not, sir. Did she just say I didn't do anything, ma'am? They've been trying to stop you multiple times and you drove right past trying to run people over. What do you mean you ain't done nothing? You've done a bunch of things. That's how you say you trying to kill a bunch of people. Alex, push no. me. Sir, stop! Sir! I didn't do it! Stop! You have Switching to a police body cam's point of view, we can see that as the cops try to arrest her, she struggles and yells that whatever she did mere seconds ago is not her fault. On November 29th, 2022, an officer was on patrol when he noticed a black vehicle speeding through a mall parking lot in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. The car also lacked a front plate number and had extremely dark tinted windows. The police performed a traffic stop after the car failed to stop at a red light. However, the suspect's vehicle accelerated its speed. So is this someone trying to steal a vehicle, then? Is that what I'm supposed to believe? I think? The driver of the car was later identified as 29-year-old Winso Tillman. I got a vehicle taken off on me, just blew the red light at north, it's gonna be a Dodge Charger. Heading south on a north. Stand by for a plate. So weird how my feelings towards police in this channel, because this type of stuff I love to watch. Police chases and all that from their bot like dash cam thing is oh love to see it. Yet me and police on this channel specifically have a very uh not friendly relationship. <laughs> Cause I seem to be bad on them a lot. 45, if anyone's by Watertown Plank, he's going to be stuck in traffic here. 221, sir, make it right. 251, copy 28. Oh, uh, he lost the front driver's side wheel, it looks like. 
As he watched Winso enter another intersection, he was hit by a vehicle and spun out, narrowly missing a pedestrian on the crosswalk. Crash, water tom plank. Pause, pause, me, water tom plank for crash. After being apprehended, Winso obeyed the officer's directions, but then made one more attempt to escape, which failed mercifully with no one harmed. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! On the ground! On the ground now! Put your hands out! Hands out to the side! Do not... After being arrested, Winso followed the officer's directions, but then chose to make one final try to run, which failed. Put your hands out! Put your head down! Down! What a dumbass. <laughs> the police is right there. Why did you actually think you could outrun them? You tried to get up. Oh, what a stupid ass dude. Thankfully, no one was hurt as a result of the four vehicle crash. This dash cam footage begins with a man attempting to cross the road in his vehicle when another vehicle comes out of what nowhere and hits him before halting. The second vehicle's driver exits, while the person inside his automobile begins ranting at the man, who has exited his vehicle. I got a camera, dude. You just pulled into me. Did you really hit my truck, bro? No. Like in the parking lot? Yes, you did. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you did. I didn't, but you just hit me. I got it on camera. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. That's all right. I got you on camera. I, I, I got you right here, buddy. I, yeah. I did that. I didn't mean to. Yeah. We got you. Thanks. We'll okay. wait for the cops. Okay. Got you. The man blames the other guy, claiming he is the one who damaged his car, despite the fact that the other guy explains it was not his fault and that he has everything on video, but the man who hit his car couldn't care less. In Chicago... Yeah, because the man probably still used to getting away with it, probably still thinks he could get away with it, and probably since it wasn't a big thing, I don't know if police would care about it. So yeah, the guy might actually get away with it, that's probably why. Chicago, a man named Juanito was driving when a black GMC SUV came into his lane. He shot her with his highlights, but she didn't move, so he just circled her. He clearly enraged the GMC driver, who followed Juanito. I mean, you're gonna try to get around someone, you're not gonna stop what you're doing? To obey to the mighty black GMC driver, of course. Of course they're gonna angry. And forced him to use a side street to avoid a fight. The GMC driver reversed and turned along the same road as Juanito anyway, then cut him off, and brake checked him. She drove onto the sidewalk to get next to him, and he eventually got around her before a traffic light. She yelled at him and flicked him off, which he couldn't hear through his windows. Jesus Christ, this woman is fucking crazy. This woman should not be having a driver's license. While another young woman- Like this woman's threatening a bat trying to say- This woman is stupid as hell. Woman in the rear seat shook a baseball bat at him. She then threw a drink out the window and drove away. Juanito mistakenly followed her because he was traveling in the same direction and she brake checked him one more time before he swerved around her and drove away foreign to a local police station and waited a few minutes in the parking lot before going home just in case. This dash cam video doesn't have Stupid people. Very stupid people. Was that last one? Much context, but it seems as if a truck driver is driving peacefully when a blue car in front of him suddenly stops. Are you nuts? Shit! There were two that were showing this. So this guy, I bet this guy who's in this car has got a hell of a shock to him because he stopped for some... I don't know what his reason for stopping was, but he just had a cold, freaking big ass car just collide into his ass. Wake up call for him. He starts yelling until it looks something hit the vehicle from behind, causing it to crash into the car in front of him, causing heavy damage. Let's hope the driver in the blue car made it out alive after that accident. I would love to know also why the person in the blue car stopped in the goddamn first place. The Kwama Honing Paranormal Group uploaded this video. They suspect the uploader may have encountered the Lantern Man that night. 
the Lantern Man of the Quamanning Dam is a specter that is said to prowl the reservoir's environs. He is frequently observed as a distant source of red light where there should be none. The individual who shot this video claims to be returning from a fishing expedition on a remote stretch of road through the dense forest surrounding the Quamanning Reservoir. We can see an ominous creature dressed in black attire. So some crazy man holding a lantern is what that looks like. Still weird to see, but... Yeah, it's like a fucking scarecrow holding a lantern. It's a fucking fiend in real life. Some claim he seems skeleton, and that he is the spirit of someone who drowned in the dam. Could this be his spirit? What a terrible concept it is to come upon a sinister-looking apparition like this in the middle of nowhere on your own. This pair of truck drivers were going down the highway in February 2015, when a white truck rushed up to them. It slowed in front of them, forcing them to come to a complete halt. I'm sorry, if a truck started doing this to me and I'm driving a big-ass thing, just... Psh right into it it's going right i'm going right into it if you purposely try to cut me off like this truck guy's doing oh yeah you getting you, your car's getting steamrolled brother they thought the man in the sign was trying to tell them something like their brake lights weren't working so they pulled to the side of the road but no one got out of the white vehicle which circled the two truckers and stopped close next to them even blocking oncoming traffic at times he still sits there staring at them they drove away because they were afraid the man had a gun. As a result, the white pickup pulls just in front of them. To go around, the truck drivers had to back out. This is ridiculous. What, what exactly does this guy have with this truck that could possibly want him to just stalk and trap this thing without actually doing anything? What's he trying to accomplish? my question. This you guy think you cut him off or something? He's definitely on. He's definitely messed up. Do you see what's his tag? I can't see his tag. They try to record the license plate but it needs to be visible after a few seconds of sitting there. The white pickup backs up to get in line with the truck drivers, who take advantage of the opportunity to drive away. As they drive away, the white pickup rams into their back trailer in an apparent attempt to get them to stop, but they keep going and eventually lose the white pickup a bit further down the road they park and wait for the police to arrive. When they did, they started a search and after a while found the white pickup on the side of the road. A bit further down, they detained the man inside, and after seeing the video, arrested him. When a cop in Glen. I don't know what that guy's issue was, because like, he doesn't even want to say it, but I don't know what that guy's issue was. Probably didn't have one, probably just looking for a road rage reason. This is insane, the find in a drive through Glen Heights, Texas, answers to a complaint about a burning vehicle. He knows precisely what to do. The car is about to set fire to a local restaurant, so he pulls over and takes care of the matter quickly and efficiently. Pulls in, pushes the car away from the building. That is actually very smart. This is very smart. 
Look at this. That's the courageous cool. officer takes matters into his own hands and drives the automobile into the parking lot, away from the building. The car could have exploded any time, engulfing him in flames and piping hot debris. Was anyone in the vehicle? Was it just an empty vehicle that someone set on fire for no goddamn reason in a parking lot? Here's an odd dash cam footage from Malaysia that will leave you perplexed. These drivers are driving down a dark road when they notice a woman in a pink shirt and then again a little farther up the road and a third time, at which point they become terrified and accelerate away, only to run square into her for the fourth and final time. Yeah, that would be disturbing to me if I ran into the same person four times driving on a street. Oh yeah, that's creep. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm backing away, never, not going down that street. If you watch the entire video, you'll notice that they're not driving in a circle. Even if they were driving in a circle, they couldn't have completed an entire circuit when it took the woman to reappear. What's most disturbing about this is that the woman's back is always turned to them and they never see her face. Myrtle Sarosa, a prominent Filipino model and actress, observed something unexplained while on tour in eastern Samar. She and her team drive along a dark back road when they see this small phantom-like person in the street. According to Myrtle, the white blob shown by the dash cam does not match what she witnessed in person. She describes what she saw as a child of 10 years old, with a pale complexion and bluish-white clothing. They wanted to return and save the hapless youngster, but their tour guide warned them that this route was notorious for child ghost sightings, and that they should get out of there as soon as possible. This might all be a publicity trick, but she's speaking the truth, given that Eastern Samar was once hit by a devastating typhoon that killed many children. This footage was shot in 2012 near an airport in Moscow, Russia. The airport. Oh, is this the one where the plane just goes down and you get, like, nearby it? Port is situated close to a yeah, highway, and on December 29th, this dash cam tape would record the terrifying moments when a plane yeah. missed the runway and crashed and landed barely on the right side of the roadway. Because of severe weather, the aircraft overshot the runway and didn't have enough room to brake when it landed. This left them little choice except to crash onto the roadway, causing jet seats and other debris to fly toward passing automobiles, as shown in the video. The plane was only carrying crew members at the time of the incident. No passengers were on board, however, five of the eight crew members died, and the vehicle driver with the dash cam escaped uninjured. In this dash cam clip, a couple on their way home late at night decided to take a shortcut, which involved driving past a cemetery on an old piece of road. <laughs> Never take shortcuts, ladies and gentlemen. While the couple did not believe in these ghosts, especially if you go drive by a cemetery in your shortcut. <laughs> stories because they had never had any paranormal encounters before after a few minutes of driving on the road they noticed a person a woman in a white dress standing right in the middle of the road and staring at our couple that appears to be quite startled and in distress it was difficult for them to find the courage to pull over and drive past the lady <laughs> However, they eventually pass by and go home as quickly as they can now. They are still wondering what this lady was doing there that late at night and why she was wearing a white dress since it reportedly had been quite chilly around. That time of year their families believe that it might have been the spirit of the weeping woman, but the couple is unsure if this had been a paranormal encounter. Hurricane Ida, a powerful Category 4 storm, landed in Louisiana in 2021. It was the second most intense hurricane ever recorded, 
and it immediately wrecked Louisiana's southernmost port. When it traveled upstream farther into the United States, the storm produced many tornadoes. As it did so, this semi-truck ended up in the middle of one of them, which was captured on its dash cam in Horsham, Pennsylvania. After turning green, the truck stopped at a light button, and the driver decided to stay put. The winds quickly pick up, and visibility worsens as the power lines on the side of the road finally give way. The watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. for southeastern Pennsylvania. Interesting, so he, the truck saw the light go green and still felt because of the weather it's best for him to stay where he was that's risky to see about where he is Pennsylvania. repeating the tornado warning has been allowed to expire for the following counties in pennsylvania delaware montgomery and philadelphia at 3 15 pm wednesday the stage was 6.4 feet moderate flooding is forecast forecast the river is expected to rise above flood stage light this evening to a crest of 14.8 feet tomorrow morning. Several driveways and other minor roadways are affected. Water begins to enter some basements. Impact at 10.0 feet. High water this. isolates seven houses, Basket. resulting in some evacuation. The dash cam falls out of place, revealing the driver still being held in his seat from his seat bone almost immediately after falling over. Brandon had just dropped off a package at UPS when he observed his friend and coworker waiting for a fire truck to pass on the other side of an intersection. Take a look at what happened once the light went green. Oh. A speeding pickup truck ran a red light, destroying the front of Brandon's friend's automobile. The truck traveled at least 60 miles per hour and did not well, that truck's clearly at fault. That truck wasn't even trying to avoid that. Attempt to swerve or break the car. The car was totaled, and the pickup driver accepted responsibility. Brandon took his friend to the hospital, but it was determined that he was not gravely harmed. Well, at least the truck driver was nice enough to take responsibility for him driving through a fucking red light. As demonstrated in this video, some persons who have been provoked by other drivers lose their cool, which can lead to road rage. This video was captured using dash cam footage, and it appears that a couple was crossing a road after the light turned green, but they were about to collide with another automobile approaching from the front side of the road. Fortunately, the vehicles did not collide. The couple ignored the event and continued on their way. Then a car pulled out in front of them, and a man got out and started yelling at them. As you can see, he was upset at them, warning them they were about to collide with his car. What's your f***ing cause? What bro? happened? Did we not have the green light? Did we well, not have we it? had a green light. You're, ma you're making him almost crash. You're making me almost crash. Wait, he was you're turning. You're not looking behind you. You're pulling out of a stop sign out of a school. And right. there's people coming behind you, no, you're not you, noticing, bro. You, you were coming behind me, I saw okay, you. Okay, you then I and you cut me off, the f off, bro. No, to I did not that slow. Yo, you so were I going to the shit out of you, what you gonna do, you, you know what yeah, you're just gonna take it like a little of course, you are. yeah. So fucking relax yourself out here before I catch you again, bro. What the f <laughs> They argued for a while, then the guy left. So everyone, what do you think happened, and whose mistake was it? A driver is. What's tough in that situation? Because I don't think I we don't see what happened that gets him so angry. So, guy might be right. A guy might be right. Like is mad. Like that is a possibility. Driving by a busy road in this dash cam video, everything appears smooth, but pay attention to the rider on the right. As you can see. The automobile in front of the motorcyclist collides with him, forcing the man's bike to tip over and fall off the road. Fortunately, the man is not- And then unlucky enough, the car that also crashes happens to run into this one. Not seriously injured as he gets up, dusts himself off, and gathers himself. The automobile driver who hit him doesn't bother to help the poor man, and drives away as if nothing happened. Who was driving home from work when he came upon a massive queue of automobiles stopped at a traffic light. Suddenly, one of the other drivers let a vehicle through and will have little time to stop without colliding with it. Will hit the brakes as soon as he noticed the Ford, although he only traveled 45 miles per hour. The other driver told Will that people were waving him through 
and he thought it was safe for him to advance. The other driver's insurance company is currently paying for all of the repair. Okay, that, that's possible that other driver cars were waiting through, and he didn't see that one because it's sometimes hard to see, so he thought that, that I can believe that. Estimated to be around 4,000 US dollars in a rental car for Will. Nikki was driving his Model Y South on I-5 in Portland, Oregon. He traveled 40 miles per hour when he passed a pickup hauling a camper. Nikki noticed that the traffic ahead was slowing down, but the pickup driver failed to notice in time and ended up smashing into a vehicle trailer at full speed. People need to pay attention when you're driving. You just need to pay attention. Stop being these stupid people. Nikki realized the vehicle wasn't slowing down, so he swerved to escape being engaged in the incident. Nikki phoned the police, and both drivers were fine. The dash cam filmed the silver car come. Wait, both drivers are fine? How would. Coming up in front of this semi truck, sitting quietly on the side of the road. Oh, I've seen this one before too. The vehicle is put in park, this and man a man has exits. No care. He approaches the truck and, seeing no one is inside, moves around to the he driver's no side care. door, which was left no open. Shame. The truck driver was outside, possibly replacing a tire or inspecting his back trailer, then rummaged through the truck driver's belongings before fleeing to his car. After taking a black bag, the truck driver discovers what's going on and pursues him down for whatever reason. Did you say the truck driver pursues him down for whatever reason? What do you mean whatever reason? They took something from him. What do you mean for whatever reason? After getting in the passenger side door and driving away, the car comes to a halt, and the man drops the bag on the ground. The automobile then speeds away as the trucker reclaims his- I'm going to assume their thought process was they didn't want a gigantic trust truck chasing their ass, despite the fact they would have gone away from that in a very easily. It's back. Because the license plate was never visible in the footage, the cops could not intervene. This dash cam clip comes from another nightly driver, traveling on a highway around 3.42 a.m. He had no idea it was about to record the likely cause of an unusual accident that had occurred that night. We can see a large rig driving in the distance, and then, for whatever reason, the truck swims in front of the car, and the accident occurs. The man recording initially assumed that the small car had lost traction and that the large rig had driven right into it. Nevertheless, take a hard look at the left side of the highway. This was just in, I think, the video I reacted to t yesterday. Today as I'm recording, but yesterday. And bam. Right. Right there. Someone right there that caused him to swerve. It's pretty eerie how a thin black shadow apparition is just standing there while all the other cars are driving by. Was this the reason for the accident? Yes. Did the smoke the small car try to avoid it, causing it to lose control and then crash into the truck? It can only be speculated what exactly had happened to you that night, but it certainly strikes me as a paranormal incident. The 
It probably could have been, but as long as no one was hurt, that's what no one was injured, that was important. Video below was taken from inside a car by two friends on their way home from a gathering. According to the video description, the road they were on carried them a little outside of town, and there were just numerous empty fields. They observed a strange figure on the road and assumed it was a joke. However, they questioned this idea because it occurred several kilometers from any civilization. Why are they doing it like that? Why do they keep swishing back and forth? That's what's making me weird for it. They keep, like, just flicking back and forth. I don't know why. Like, why are they doing that? I don't understand that. That's what's confusing to me. Stop doing that. It's actually annoying. The two companions had to put the car in reverse and take a different route because they were too terrified to go past those two strangers. It's improbable that this was a supernatural occurrence. It is a disturbing illustration of strangers obstructing the road in the middle of nowhere. No, see this this is too weird to me. This this the way this is done is too weird for me. Where? This truck driver was driving across the desert and soon approaching a large gray cloud that he assumed was a dust storm, but as he drew closer, it was apparent that he was driving straight into a massive plague of locusts. This is terrifying. Imagine being a truck driver having to drive through a thing of locusts. That is insane. Thousands of locusts begin bashing into the guy's trunk almost immediately, making it increasingly difficult for him to see in front of himself, no doubt making for an unpleasant sight. An officer in Pinellas County, Florida, is seated in the median looking for speeders when an airplane passes overhead, far too close. The unsteady wobbling of the plane indicates that the pilot has entirely lost control. Another deputy's dash cam captures another viewpoint of the plane's descent as it approaches the earth. The two officers... I remember there was an officer that saw either the crash or aftermath. It was aftermath I was thinking of. ...rush over to the scene where they discover a path of fallen trees and twisted metal strewn across the road. They close the street and summon emergency medical services. This turned out to be the personal plane of Major League Baseball player Roy Halladay. An autopsy revealed that the players were intoxicated while flying the jet. Many people... Do they both pass? Like, I've never heard that part of the story. That's insane. I never actually knew that part of the story. People will be perplexed by this dash cam clip. This automobile is driving down Singapore's BKE Expressway when it captures a split-second image of what appears to be a ghostly hitchhiker looking for a ride. The ghostly apparition is too tall. Yeah, it's literally sticking his hand out with a thumbs up and everything. Yeah. All to be a regular human, and its limbs are also exceedingly long. However, this stretched appearance could be an optical illusion caused through being filmed at a high rate of speed. Some even claim they appear to be. F that is true. That could just be like a sign or something that's being made to look like that. Yeah, that could be an optical illusion. Loading. I'd want to hear your thoughts, so please let me know whether you agree. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and creepiest one, and if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. Tim captured this dash cam footage while driving to school. Jesus! He was traveling around 45 miles per hour in his BMW. Two just crash into each other. Not paying attention to his surroundings at all. When another car failed to yield and pulled in front of him. He could get out of his car and unhook the battery alone, but spectators ensured he was taken to the hospital. He had severe internal injuries and was hospital. That is a bad fucking crash right there. That is a bad fucking crash. That, yeah, he had... Extended internal injuries, spent a week and a half in a hospital, nothing much of physical therapy, but some much of psychotherapy. This, that's the type of accident that'll put you through some shit.
hospitalized for a week and a half, followed by three months of physical treatment and a month of psychotherapy. He earned 8,000 sick. He received eight, 86,000 US dollars for his total car and his pain and suffering. He worked on trying to get the car roadworthy again, but but in the meantime, he's driving a this BMW, his dream car. 600 US dollars for his totaled automobile and his agony and suffering, and he's working on getting the vehicle roadworthy again. But in the meanwhile, he's driving his dream car, a BMW E39 540i. Why is that his dream car? It's not even that fancy of a car. That's like the most basic ass car. Hmm. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. Thank you everybody for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you all for the next one.